Hello and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to be doing a health um, thyroid update video here. If you are new to my channel, I have a whole playlist of everything from before I got diagnosed with thyroid cancer and through the whole process of my surgeries and ablation and um, vocal cord reconstruction and all this other crazy stuff I went through about three years now. It's crazy to think that all of that was only three years ago. It feels like a million years ago and it feels like yesterday all at the same time. Um, November 8th was my surgery date, 2016 and I remember it very clearly. <laughs> the reason I haven't filmed any updates since I want to say like last year is because I really didn't feel like I had much to report. I didn't know what to say other than like this is the medicine I'm taking, this is how I'm feeling and that's it. I was feeling pretty good for the most part. Of course still struggling to lose weight. I mean I feel like that is probably going to be like the biggest hurdle of my life you know um i don't even think going to school or starting a new career even touches how difficult it is for me to actually see a change on this scale so if something starts to work i'll let you know i am um, vlogging that whole process um this is more of like my health like medical sort of playlist whereas i do have another health fitness related playlist so if you're interested in seeing how that journey is going what i'm trying what i'm failing at um, the struggles that I'm going through both personally and also medically on that end of it uh, check that playlist out it's pretty cool very heartfelt uh, a little bit of crying I'll admit that right now but the reason I'm sitting here to film this video now um, in particular is because I just got back from my general practitioner the so let's backtrack a little bit after if you are caught up to date on the videos you know that I was feeling pretty good. I started school last year, it was great. But right before I started going to school, and I did share this in a vlog, I don't remember which one, but it's out there, that I was having some issues with my period, that they were like super, super heavy. I was having an enormous amount of cramps, and it was definitely different than what I had experienced in the past. And I've had my period for like 20 years or something like that. I've had it long enough to know that it was weird and I freaked out a little bit. I went to my OB, I went to a GI doctor, I went to my general practitioner, I went back to my endocrinologist a few times. I had everyone do every blood test out there, um, eliminate all of the issues because then of course like having cancer already and for most days I kind of forget that that process had happened with me and I kind of like see it as like no big deal. But there's a tiny little part of me that when something, not like a little bit of sick, like I have a cold, but when something feels wrong, I start to have a little bit of a panic um, going in. Because I'm like, great, what am I going to have to deal with, like cervical cancer or something like that now? Um, I would get through it. I would handle it. There's nothing I could do to change it right now. That's kind of the mindset that I keep telling myself when things go wrong is like, can I do anything to change it? Other than going to the doctor and doing the right thing that they suggest? No. So I try my best not to stress. Anyways, so fast forward, it started leveling out around Christmas time, got back to normal, and I was like, okay, I guess that was just a fluke. Apparently, my hormones wanted to get weird. So at that time, I was doing 150 milligrams Monday through Thursday of my thyroid medication, just level thyroxin, and then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I was doing 175. That seemed to work well for me, and I stayed pretty stable at the weight of 171, and then when I was in school, I started eating a little poorly, so I got up to 175. By the time I graduated school, that is where I had landed when it comes to my weight. End of school was May 2019, and it is currently uh, October 2nd, 2019, just to give you a little gist of timeline here. I went to the endocrinologist for my annual checkup. She did the body scan, the ultrasound of the lymph node mapping at that time. This is the end of May of 2019 now. And everything came out clear. She was totally fine. The only thing she said is that my calcium was a little bit lower. So just making sure I'm really consistent with taking it every day. I take my love with the Aroxin every day, no problem. But I am getting bad about remembering to go back after, our, like, cause I'll wake up, have the love with the Aroxin, go and eat, you know, get ready for the day, eat my breakfast after about an hour because you need an hour between when you eat and when you take your level of thyroxin. And then when I eat, I'll take my calcitriol, which is my calcium, 
and my vitamin D at that point. So I'm really bad at remembering to go back and take those. And if I skip three days, I've done like not experiments on purpose, but just realizing the three day mark is what my body says, nope, not doing this. I start to get the crippling hand. My hand turns into maybe like that shape, like that, like kind of like curled up. And I, it's hard to open it. It's a really weird feeling. It doesn't hurt. It just feels super creepy. Okay, so if you have calcium issues, you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to the muscle twitches on um, your legs or your arm or, you know, large muscle groups will all of a sudden just kind of like, it's so weird. It's not painful by far and it's not harmful in the long term if you, you know, go and take your calcium. So it's usually a reminder like, shit, I totally forgot. Um, my lips will get really tingly too. So that's another, sorry, I keep moving. I'm trying to get comfy on this weird chair. Yeah, so she lowered my thyroid medication at the end of May, beginning of June to 150, Monday through Sunday, seven days a week, 150. At the end of June, I started having these random little, we're gonna call them anxiety attacks. I don't think they were quite full-blown panic attacks, although there were a few days that I was very close to taking myself to urgent care. I felt like I was like having a heart attack or, but not really at the same time. Like it didn't feel that way, but it felt like something was wrong, but I could usually just talk myself out of it and go and calm down or anything like that. Um, definitely the night before my test, my esthetician state board test, super anxious. That's normal, but to the point where I was like, finding myself hyperventilating. And then I'm like, what is going on? It's not that big of a deal. I know what I'm doing. So it's like my conscious brain and my subconscious are, we're starting to fight. And it was very, it, it is very frustrating. It's something I'm still struggling with. And it came to, I was getting it like every other week, little palpitations like that. And I would brush it off like PMS. Kind of like, oh, I must be hormonal. It's just an off day. Everybody has off days. I probably didn't sleep well the night before, whatever. But the whole day I would feel like super anxious. And it got to the point that this past week, three days out of the seven, I was having these episodes so bad that on this past Friday, I don't think I vlogged it because I just, did, I was so panicky in the moments that I, I didn't even have the sense to bring up my camera to show you and I wish I had something to to explain because now I kind of seem like happy and bubbly and happy I said that twice but in those moments I I feel like I'm going to faint I get super lightheaded and I get like clammy in the hands and uncomfortable and I feel like I'm losing control of my body and it's not a good feeling and I fainted before I think I told you my son had arm surgery uh, beginning of the summer probably two weeks after they changed my meds and I fainted right there when they were giving him the IV I've had a million IVs I don't get what the problem is I'm not even afraid of needles prick my fingers give me some shots I don't care but I've gotten more squeamish to it which is so wild to me I, all of a sudden like I've never felt like that before believe me I've gone on come on here when I've been all bruised up and then like, ah, yeah, it's fine. So, I don't know. And then my mind started going into really dark places, like really weird. So for instance, we witnessed a, a kid on a bike get hit by a car. He's okay. There wasn't even any blood. He was totally fine. It was just like a little minor incident. It wasn't me that hit him, just saying. But I was behind them and my mind, it, like I had to pull over and I had the kid, my kids in the car and I started having like, okay, I need to drink water, like something's wrong. Like I, it just throws me into a fit, um, mind you. And I started picturing like Anthony on the bike, Anthony's my son, on the bike and like just gruesome things. And I'm like, why is my mind going to these places? We need to get home. Like, let, let's stop, suck it up, let's go. Come on, chop chop, we have things to get excited about crafts to come home to that I'm excited about. It's not stressful to me. Um, it's driving me crazy feeling like that. So I, and then fast forward to Monday, I was in a session with a client and I started having those feelings randomly. And it's not when I don't eat. It does make it worse if I skip a meal or push off a meal like a couple of hours and I have low blood sugar. It does make it, that feeling worse. 
but it doesn't necessarily make it feel better when I do eat. So that's how I know it's not like a blood sugar thing. Plus they checked me today and I was fine. He also did an EKG. So my, I think it's blood pulse or something about the circulation is fine. But he said that I have pulmonary hypertension, which is onset by low hypothyroidism. And it's this rushing of blood from, it's kind of like when you stand up and you get super dizzy. Um, I guess apparently some people don't get that, but I get that way. And I've always gotten that way, but it's gotten it progressively worse. And when I sat up today in the office and I did that, I had to like kind of like sit there for a second and be like, I'm having that feeling, doc. And he's like, that is it. That You're feeling that because the blood's not getting to your brain. So you're feeling that lightheadedness and we need to regulate your thyroid medication. So long story short, he adjusted it to Monday through Friday. I will be taking 150 and then Saturday and Sunday, I'll be taking 175. Different from in the past where I was doing three days because we won't, don't want me to get too high again, but we almost need to bump me up again. Hopefully this will help with the weight loss. I've been working out. I have my little workout doodle over here. I have been eating relatively well, although we did have Taco Bell for dinner the other night. I will disclose that. I am not perfect by far. Um, I apologize that this is a 12 minute rambling video. Um, if you're on a journey like this, then hopefully this is somewhat helpful. Maybe you have started to get these experiences with having low thyroid. Um, it's ter like it's terrifying. It's annoying because I'll wake up in the middle of the night sometimes and be like, and feel that, that rush as if I've drank three cups of coffee when I haven't had any and it's awful. I hate it. It's so annoying. <laughs> Um, but right now I should harvest that feel good feeling that I'm having in this moment right now. For some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling clear minded. I'm not foggy and I'm feeling pretty good. So I'm going to take advantage of that because there's days like for instance, Friday, I felt so foggy and I felt like I was trudging through sludge just to do anything throughout the day. Um, and I pushed myself. I went and did all my errands and my appointments and got my hair done because we did a photo shoot on Saturday. Like I pushed myself to do all those things and it's exhausting. And um, it was another thing he says, I try to push it too much when I start to feel those episodes come on. I need to go lay down, I need to rest. But that isn't always practical in real life. So I just need to fix the solution, find the solution, fix the problem. And hopefully, hopefully this is it. Hopefully it's just my thyroid medicines getting wonky and it'll be a simple fix. Uh, crossing my fingers on that one. I hope if you are going through a journey like this that you know that you are not alone. Um, I actually started a support group on Facebook. Please feel free to join and ask your questions in there. I try my best to interact, but there's definitely a community of amazing resources and people in there that have gone through this or have family members that have gone through some sort of thyroid process, whether it be from cancer to Hashimoto's to other autoimmune diseases. Yeah, don't feel alone. This sucks at times, it really does. And like I said, most days I forget I even don't have a thyroid. But other days, I'm like, this damn thing is still haunting me. <laughs> it's like a bad ghost. <laughs> All right, I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any tips or tricks or any feedback for me, please leave those in the comments down below. And um, yeah, check out my other playlist. We do lots of fun things here on Sparkle Me Pink. Um, planning a wedding, that's a lot of fun. And on my fitness journey, I would love for you to come along on that with me. Do it with me. We can do it. We can do it. Um, if I didn't mention so already, I got on the scale today. I'm all over the place today. 189. I've gained 18 pounds since this time last year. And most of it, literally 85% of it has been since, um, since June. Yeah. That cannot be healthy on your heart either. So I'm, I'm sure that's part of it. I'm going to go see the cardiologist. Um, okay, now I'll leave you with that. Lots of info thrown at you in 15 minutes or so. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the recommended video starting right now.